Coming up today on Houston Life, actor Liam Neeson is chatting about his new Netflix film, The Ice Road, where he plays a big rig truck driver sent on an impossible rescue mission. And Grammy award-winning singer and actor Tyrese Gibson is bringing his music to Houston. We've got all the details on his upcoming concert and more. Plus, Good Taste TV's Tangi Patton is here with a refreshing watermelon ceviche recipe just in time for summer. Mm, and it's time to spin the Houston Life prize wheel for your chance to win up to $1,000. All that and more happening today on Houston Life. Live from Studio B and KPRC2. Houston Life starts now. Well, happy Friday, everyone, and welcome to Houston Life, Friday, June 25th, 2021. I'm Derek Shore. And I'm Joe Sam, filling in for Courtney today. It's the Bro Show today. The Bro Show. Sounds good. I love that shirt, Joe. Yeah, I said it's summertime. We got to bring out the bright colors because we're feeling good. And it's Friday, so we're happy about yeah, that, it's too. Friday. Yes, yeah, Queen. yes, Queen. Um, yeah, it's Queen Elizabeth, <laughs> in case you're wondering. So uh, a couple shout-outs very quickly. Mm -hmm. I want to give a belated birthday shout-out to one of our viewers. Her name is Pearl. Aww, there she is right there. Look at her. She's She's a mom, a wife, a grandmother. She has a really interesting story about how her family came to the United States. Uh, there is her grandbaby. Oh, look at the little right baby there. with the shades. He's cooling it. Adorable. <laughs> and you know, she does like homemade stationery. I understand she watches Houston Life every day, but she does these homemade stationery classes. So people come over and she teaches them how to like print and create their oh, own wow. little stationery set. So yeah, Pearl, I'm going to come to your house on. and bring Brandon. We're going to make our own. Yeah, I'm coming along with you guys too. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna perfect. make it happen. <laughs> okay, also another shout out. Uh, this is very, very exciting. We love highlighting our locals. Chef Don Burrell, she made it to Top Chefs finale yes, on Bravo. So this was last night when this was announced. She uh, she did come to Houston Life back in March. You might recognize her name. She is a former Olympian who competed in the long jump at the 2000 Sydney mm. Olympics. She was executive chef at Southern Restaurant Culture and earned a James Beard nomination for best chef in Texas in 2020. So congratulations to her. Yes. Her brand new restaurant last August is set to open this summer and we're going to tune in for that. Finale. Yeah, it was a nail biter for this one too because she forgot one of the items, one of the key items on the plate that she had to put on there. So she was nervous about making it to the finals. And look at her. She made it there. Anyone, first of all, who can cook well and do it <laughs> under pressure with the cameras, I can't imagine doing And cooking segments are tough. We're gonna, I mean, Tangie, they're tough, right? Yep. They're not easy. There's a camera. When there's a <laughs> camera, they're, they're not easy. So, uh, hey, I got to ask you about your biplane ride yesterday. Oh. If you saw Houston Life, you saw that Joe went up in a biplane and you flew around... Uh, uh, where? Downtown, right? Downtown, Derek. This is something that we're doing for your Not Your Average Joe Adventures. It was absolutely amazing. So we're about 1,500 feet in the air. Look we that. flew. Look at the views. Look at the Minute Maid Stadium. That's we were incredible. able to get in a beautiful view of that. And then we saw the Toyota Center. We were able to just fly around and have a great time. It was a little hot, but this was absolutely incredible. The pilot, Carl, he was flying for years and years. So he was an Air Force pilot. He has all of that experience, so he kept it smooth. This is the Brazos River. So they call it the Chocolate River, I'm hearing here. Yeah, it looks pretty chocolate. If we were deep down in there, he got really low into the river. We had a, such a great time there, and he is bringing people up all this summer. So you can try this out for yourself or your family. He can bring up to two passengers in there, so you can do like a date date you night or a, a date, date day. Night. Yeah. Well, and what's cool about it is, well, I love flying. I mean, I'm a little bit of a nervous flyer, but I always like sitting next to the window because I feel like part of the ticket price is the tour you get, right? Exactly. I never understand why people like close the little. <laughs> the little window shade. Mm -hmm. I like to look out, right? So in a biplane, it's so great because you're just out there with the wind in your face. You even it's had the open. goggles, right? We had the goggles. I actually just felt like a Tuskegee Airman. I mean, it felt really good. We made it feel very, very picturesque as far as the photo shoot that we took after we got back down on the ground. And what was cool about it was that he's going to be doing this for just a great amount of time. This is gonna be year round, so you can do this even into the winter. And he said that he prefers to do it in the winter because it was so hot. 
Oh, yeah, <laughs> I know. It's been a hot few weeks in Houston. Well, oh. check them out. Houston Biplane, uh, look them up. You can find their website. Mm -hmm. It's a great way to see, again, not just downtown, but they give a really nice tour. And this article, Joe, is on our that, website right now. Look at that picture. I'm telling you, I was like a model. I know. You look like <laughs> a movie star there. We had a great time. Definitely go and check them out. Very, very nice. Well, listen, Tokyo Olympics, can you believe they are right around the corner, officially less than a month away. This Olympic Games will be a little bit different. And even though it's 2021, it's still officially the 2020 games because they were postponed because of because of covid but um no alcohol oh no cheering allowed no international spectators so it's going to be a little bit different but it's still i swear the olympics the best seat in the house <laughs> Leave it here on KPRC2 because this is the best. I mean, it's the only place to watch, right? Yeah, right. But I've covered Olympics before. How I was that? I know it was very intense, making sure you follow all of those Olympians. We have a lot here from Houston that's going to be participating in this year, too. Yeah, well, the thing about the Olympics is all the venues are very spread apart. So you have, you know, it's just, I'm telling you, just watch them on TV. It's the best place to watch. <laughs> so tune in on KPRC2, and uh, it should be a great game. Yeah, I've been keeping my eye on, of course, Simone Biles, and then Shakari Richardson. She's the track superstar from Dallas, Texas. She's going to be going there, too. Her story's been all over the place. Yeah, and people have been buzzing about those gymnastics trials. Mm -hmm. uh, again, you're seeing our web computer right now. Check out clicktohouston.com if you want to keep tabs on who's going, who's still qualifying, and uh, all the high-flying action. I'm ready for it. I'm excited for the Olympics this year. Although we can't do any cheering, we're just going to have to do a nice clap for it. Yeah, well, I think you can <laughs> cheer from home, right? And you can drink at home. Oh, so. that's a good idea. Well, let's just watch it from home. Yeah, it's almost better, better than being in Tokyo. Tokyo. <laughs> okay, so June, of course, is Pride Month, and this is officially Pride Weekend in Houston. It's going to be a hot one, so hydrate. One of my favorite events, and I'm I'm so bummed that this year we're not doing it in person. It's right. Rainbow on the Green down at Discovery And I've green. never been to that before, but I've heard so much about it whenever I came here. They were telling me, you have to go and check it out, but it's going to be virtual this year. Virtual so. this year, which is great. Just find the Discovery Green YouTube page, and you can stream the event. And next year, you're all coming with me <laughs> on the Friday night, Rainbow on the Green down at Discovery Green. But check out some of these other things that are happening this weekend in Houston. Uh, Dodgeball, open play on Saturday, Star Sailor. The Pride Festival at Buddy's. This is actually happening all weekend long. And on Sunday, I am going to be hitting the dunk tank. Well, oh. rather, other people. Okay, are. I'm going to have to go in up there. I have to do it now. We got to dunk you in there. We'll get Tangie out there, Lauren Kelly. Everybody, come on down. <laughs> I'm, I'm dunking for charity. Uh, for uh, Legacy Community Health and the Montrose Center. So there's a charitable component to a lot of the Pride activities. There's also drag brunches, oh. including a Britney Spears drag brunch. So you've never seen so many Britney Spears in your entire <laughs> life. Check out my KPRC2 Facebook page. Our friends over at Outsmart Magazine have compiled a really great list of weekend events. So get out and celebrate. Yeah, Everybody is welcome. Bring the bright colors out. Really have a great time. I love seeing all of the colors, all the drag queens out, really having a good time performing. This is going to be something special for everyone. It's going to be good. Be sure you Uber. Just Uber over to Montrose, and there are a few other venues around town. So check it out. Come out. And if you see me, say hi, of course. <laughs> we all love that. I'm going to get ready to dunk you, though. Yeah? I'm ready for that. We're going to have to what start practicing. What did I ever do to you, Joe Sam? Look, it's just going to be funny. I'm going to definitely get out there and do that. You know what? You got I've, me ready. I've never done a dunk <laughs> tank before. Have you? I have. And it's so much fun, Derek. You're going to have a great time. And you have to get people that are really ready to dunk you in. Okay, so is there anything that I need to know, though, before I hit the drink? Just prepare yourself. Okay. Wear something nice and comfy. Okay, take your phone out of your pocket. <laughs> exactly. How about that? Okay, so uh, Lauren Kelly has been hanging out with us here in Studio B, Joe, and she has today's question of the day. Hey, Lauren. Guys, I think that they totally missed the perfect line for all those Britneys. It's going to be, it's Britney brunch. Right? Oh, like the line of her song. I see hey! what you did. <laughs> <laughs> I actually That's a good to, one. I got to yeah. co-host uh, uh, Pride on the Green, the, the Rainbow on the Green one time at Discovery Green with Derek Berry, who is an amazing Britney drag performer. I, I would just love to get those pictures back Fine. on the website. Well, <laughs> we want to know how you are going to show your pride this weekend on our Facebook page. We've already got some great answers coming in. Let's jump to Christine first. She writes in, by loving my daughter unconditionally and supporting her and her wife 100%. 100% with Aww. all of my love. What a great photo right That's there. Lovely. That's beautiful. All right, let's go to Brianna. She writes, I got this tattoo as a way to show my support for the LGBTQIA plus community. Beautiful. Just
just rainbow stars right there. I love that. Janet writes in, support my nephews all year long. That's just wonderful. I love it. What a wonderful way to celebrate this weekend. Head over to the Houston Life Facebook page, join the conversation, and we will share more of your comments a little later on. Joe and Derek, what do you guys think? You see, I celebrated back when I was in Columbus, and in a short north, there is this drag queen who was on RuPaul's Drag Race, Nina West. She has a drink called the Nina West, okay. and it will get you ready for a party. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, what's that's in how it? we celebrate it. Oh, it's vodka All and then a whole what's bunch of other stuff. What's not what's in what's it? What's not yeah. in it is the actual app, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, that, well, maybe we could get her to, to mix up some cocktails for us on the show sometime. Absolutely. Yeah. That's how we start a party for Pride. Okay. Okay, sounds <laughs> yes, good. Queens. And thanks also yes, to us. <laughs> yes, Queen. Yes, Queen. It's Brandon Shirt. Thank you for me <laughs> You like it? It's good, right? It's yeah. cool. I love it. You're all welcome to borrow it. All right, there we go. Community clothing. <laughs> Thanks, Lauren. Thanks sure. to all of our viewers, too, for your ideas and comments. All right, now that things are getting back to normal, big name celebrities are returning to Houston. This is great news for yes. in person concerts and, of course, to promote their new projects. Yeah, a lot of people are excited about this. That includes Grammy Award winning singer and actor Tyrese Gibson. I caught up with him to learn more about his highly anticipated tour and the new movie, F9. Delegating. That's what good leaders do. Leader. The Fast and the Furious says the fans and supporters, it's like a cult following. And it's a cult following for the overall experience, right? So what happens is people are getting dressed. Hair, makeup, <laughs> the kids are going, because it's been around for 20 years. Everybody as a family is able to come and experience this movie because it's for everybody. It's not just for men, just not just for women, not just for kids. It's something that everybody could enjoy. And everyone is able to say, man, I grew up watching The Fast and the Furious. So I have to know, how are you switching things up as far as your character Roman is concerned? He's been around for so long. What are you doing different that we haven't seen before in F9? Every time my character is on camera. The fans who enjoy the humor and the comedy, they're waiting on the punchline. Oh, yeah. So this film, I ask, is there any way that my character can do some things that's more in the dramatic space outside of the humor? Because when I say something, I want it to be definitive <laughs> without being followed by a punchline. I don't remember the last time I seen this much action in one setting. So you must really love the city of Houston because not only are you here to talk about F9, but you have an upcoming concert that's gonna be happening on July 3rd. You know I have to hear about it. The ladies will not forgive me if I do not ask you about this upcoming concert. What can we expect to see? I'm excited, man, uh, to, to bring, um, you know, my, my music and energy back to Texas, man. Texas has some of the most aggressive. Oh yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead, ladies. Fans, uh, there is, and the magic is always magic when I come here. I love it so much, man. I have a little game for you, Tyrese. Hopefully you're ready to play it. We're calling it Fast and the Furious Interview. So I got a couple of Fast and Furious questions for you. So first question for you, best career advice. Never look down on someone who looks up to you. There we go, there we go. Next question, in favorite color. Favorite color is red. If you can change one thing about yourself, what would it be? If I can change one thing about myself, it'd probably be my feet. <laughs> What's wrong with the feet? I don't like my feet. <laughs> I don't like them. You just don't like them. I go to sleep, I sleep with socks on. <laughs> you might scare a couple of people if you That's take them right, off. That's right, man. Tyrese, thanks so much for joining us here today. It has been such a pleasure talking to you. We wish you nothing but success, and we cannot wait for F9 and his upcoming concert, too. We're excited about it all. F9 okay. just wow. released today in theaters, and you'll be able to catch Tyrese performing in concert this July in the Houston Arena Theater. This is going to be great because a lot of people are ready to get back out there, see those live concerts. And yeah. Tyrese, I'm telling you, Derek, we were just talking about it. This guy has found a fountain of youth. I don't oh. think he looks any different than when I first became aware of him like 25 <laughs> years or so ago. Did you ask him about his like... I did, his skincare, skincare routine. routine. He said he has to keep that secret. I said, you're going to give me that skincare routine because I have to stay nice and milk chocolate like how he is. He said it keeps him nice and smooth. Well, that series lives on and on and on. The ninth, the ninth film. Mm -hmm. The ninth. It's been going on since I was 11 years old. So this is like 20 years later, this is still going. So the first one came out in 2011 
and they are still going strong today. They even have Cardi B's going to be in this one. F10 is going to be coming out too. She's going to be in that one as well too. So Tyrese, of course, is going to be staying in. My goodness. I well, very it. nice. And the series <laughs> lives on even without Paul Walker. Uh, right. Rest in peace. All right. Shifting gears now. One of our favorite special guests is back in studio. Tangie Patton of Good Taste TV is back with a summer favorite. Tangie, it looks delicious. What you got? It is delicious. So if all this heat and humidity has zapped your energy, awesome, cold, juicy ceviches. And of course, I would never forget the wine. We'll be right back. It's a simple dish that's full of flavor. We're talking ceviche, and Tangie Patton of Good Taste TV is back with some of her local favorites. I told you earlier, this is something that was first introduced to me here in Houston yeah. during Cinco de Mayo, and I can't wait to talk more about it today. Such a great dish for the summer, too. It is the perfect dish for the summer because, I mean, let's face it, it can be a little oppressive out there, <laughs> you know, today in particular. But there's something really nice, and it's almost like a little energy boost, you right, know? Right, It's not the hot, heavy food that'll weigh you down, and it just kind of keeps you going, and it, it's perfect for the summer. It, whoops, and I brought some of my favorite places, uh, my favorite ceviches from a mm -hmm. fantastic place in Houston called Pacific Coast Tacos. It already smells beautiful. Oh, uh, they do so many different varieties, and that's what makes it so fun. So they've got two locations, one in the Heights, one in Sugarland, and it's a local couple. Lindsay uh, and Lincoln oh. Ward are the owners, and so they have a sugar Land and Heights, and I brought you some of the fun ones yeah, I wanted you to try. It, we have to go ahead and try this out. So what are we talking about? How okay. we actually serve this up? Because they're serving these beautiful glasses. This is a good way to actually entertain, too. Oh, it's an easy way to entertain. It's very easy to make. A little later in the show, I'm going to show you how to make one, and it's super easy. You'll be doing it all summer long. This one is called Coconero. Okay, so, so you talk, I taste. You got it. Yeah, <laughs> you got the best part. So this is lump crab meat, very fresh shrimp, coconut cream mm. and it's done with the habanero mango sauce Ooh. so you get the creamy sweetness of the coconut cream and then that little habanero gives mm. you a little kick in there but it's a great melding of the sweet and the creamy mm -hmm. and the habanero right and i love the crunch in there too yeah texture this is beautiful i love this here and then you have these other two up here also beautiful. All, also beautiful and all very different. So this is the ceviche mixto. And it's a great mix of lump crab meat, again, fresh, shrimp, octopus, mm. flounder, and this is in a spicy cocktail mix. So this is like just your fresh fish flavors, and you get that spice, of course, with the cocktail mix. Now, All Tangie, this is going to be my first time trying octopus, so you're, you're <laughs> going to have me doing the first on the show. Hey, I love this. Ceviche is <laughs> a first for you in Houston, and now mm. octopus. This is really good, too. I love how juicy it is. Yeah. yeah. Really refreshing. And this is. also is beautiful. Okay. Pacific ceviche. So at Pacific Coast Tacos, their flavors are all coastal. You'll get some tropical influences thrown in as well. This one has shrimp, flounder, mango, pico de gallo, and um, avocado. Now, you can add octopus if you want it, but you don't have to. So this again, and it's I love ceviche. It's such a protein hit, you know? Right. Um, these things are not loaded with carbs. The little crunch you may get in a tortilla or a plantain chip is not going to kill you on a carb thing. Um, but you get the protein, your energy, and they're really healthy. I mean, you've got lots of fruits and veggies in these mixed in, too. I'm tasting that spice that you talked about. It's starting to give me that kick that I need. <laughs> yeah. That's going to wake you right up for the summer. Hey, you're, nice from, you're from Louisiana. <laughs> you can handle a little spice, and I love Joe. all the seafood, too. Exactly like you said, being from Louisiana, I'm knowing all of these seafood elements that you have up here, but it's the flavor that's just been right. jam-packed into all of these ceviches, and they're so different and unique in each one. Well, they are, and I, I only brought three. There, yeah. There's a variety at Pacific Coast. Now, to wash it all down, I brought a Josh Rosé Prosecco okay, for now you. Okay, now you're speaking my language. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering if you were going to go for this Prosecco or not. Mm, okay, so what do we have in this? What is this going so to do to complement this? I, Prosecco, sparkling of any kind, really, just goes with any kind of food, right? And because there's some fruit components in these ceviches, there's some great notes in this rosé that really complement well. Mm. And it even works with spicy things as well because it's not... Uber, it is dry, but it's not so dry that it's competing with anything. The thing is that it being dry, it really does help 
balance it all out because this is super juicy when you're having this in there. So this just balances out it's just nice. perfect. It's really nice. Yeah, I love that Prosecco. It's an easy one to find wherever you shop for wines. And it's like less than $15. It's a it's a it's one of my go-to rosé Proseccos. Absolutely. Now, this is something that's great for a lot of people because you give a lot of information. All of this information can be found also on your show that airs yeah. at 530 right here on KPRC. Yeah, now we take you all over Texas on our show. We're actually going to be in Louisiana Come this on, season. Come on, you're yeah. going back to my, the swamp <laughs> town. That's Absolutely. what we're talking about. I love the Atchafalaya swamp. Love yes. it. And I'm glad that you actually pronounced it right. A lot of people cannot pronounce it, and I'm glad you got it good. Oh. So high five for you. You got it. You got it. <laughs> So Fun you're stuff. Be back there, to yeah. Louisiana, all over. You'll see that, That's yeah. But we'll, we take you to restaurants all over, and of course, we do a lot of wines with uh, H E B, and we show you some really great vines. And that's the key. Yes. You don't have to spend a ton of money to get a great wine, right? And this is really easy to impress your friends and family for the summer. Those backyard barbecues when it's so hot out there. We right? know how this Houston heat is. This is a great way to have a dish just to yeah. cool off and keep it light. You cook some ceviche for your family, and they're going to be impressed. There we go, Tangi. You <laughs> always do it for us, and of course. Tangie's not going anywhere. She's going to be back later in the show to tell us how to make a refreshing watermelon ceviche at home. Mm -hmm. But first, let's send things over to Lauren Kelly to talk all about this new film that's getting a lot of buzz. Hey, Lauren. Joe, if you don't finish up with that Prosecco, you can just pass oh, it on. That's I'm my favorite. I'm actually going to chug it right now. <laughs> all right. All right, you guys, coming up, Liam Neeson's latest role as a big rig ice trucker, uh, a ice road trucker in the new Netflix film, The Ice Road, will have you on the edge of your seat. Liam is chatting more about the action movie and how he trained for the part. Plus, we'll get a check of what's coming up for the news at 4 o'clock. Houston Life is back in just two minutes. Welcome back to Houston Life. It is just before 3.30 p.m. Derek Shore here along with Joe Sam filling in for Courtney today. Oh, we're having so much fun. We certainly are. That food was great. Yeah, Angie does can't it wait right. To try it. <laughs> and of course, we want to continue having a great time because we're talking about Pride Month. This is a great celebration here in Houston, and I can't wait to get into all of the activities that we're going to have. Buckle up, hydrate before you go out. <laughs> and we have those questions and comments that we're going to be getting to right now. We were asking everyone, how do you show your pride? And we got those comments right now. A lot of people are chiming in. This is what they have to say right now. I'm going to see if I can see this. Let's see. It says, simple. And this is coming from Sharon. She says, simple just by showing love for everyone. Love is love is love. Oh, very, very nice. Mm -hmm. Lee Runyon writes in, I gave out 100 rainbow flag pins. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, very that's nice. cool. And look at Douglas. He sent this beautiful picture in. Look at that. All of those colors and the balloons. This is the way we have a good celebration. Love the rainbow. Also oh. means peace. All right, now <laughs> let's check in with Lauren, Christine, and Justin for a look at what's coming up on KPRC 2 News at 4 o'clock. Hey, friends. Hi, guys. Happy Friday. Happy you too. Friday. Yeah, yeah. Happy Friday. Yeah, ready yeah. for the weekend, right? Yeah. And we're all curious. Yes, queen. <laughs> yes, queen. We're all <laughs> yes. And we're all curious how hot it's going to get yeah. if we're going to see more rain. Right, Justin? Yeah, it definitely is. You can see behind me here, this is looking in towards downtown. Uh, it's fairly uh, fairly dark at this point. This is probably what, yeah, ominous. There you go. Big word for Big Friday. Word, I know. I know. <laughs> I save it for the last the last part of the week. Y'all grab your phones and go to go to the Google machine and figure what ominous says. It basically says, <laughs> there you go. That's the idea. Abacus camera right now showing those dark skies out there. We're actually getting a little bit of rain, which is kind of nice to see because it's just been hot, hot, hot for a good chunk of the uh, last couple of days out there. Uh, really difficult to try to get any movement on that. So We'll continue to kind of keep a watch on that, but as we go in towards the rest of this afternoon and this evening, I think we should see some difference in here. And actually, guys, I believe my computer is all jammed up right now. So, ladies, I'm going to send it back over to you, and uh, we will talk more about all of this that's coming up here at 4 o'clock. It's probably stuck trying to figure out what ominous means. Yeah, it very well could be. You know, I know. It's Friday. It's shutting down. <laughs> I blame all. you, Christine. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. We'll talk to you in a bit, Justin. All right. Also coming up today at 4 o'clock, this sentencing hearing for Derek Chauvin was held this afternoon. He is the former Minneapolis police officer convicted for his role in George Floyd's death. Chauvin has been sentenced to 22 and a half years. Chauvin's post-verdict motion was for, for a new trial was denied by a judge just hour before the hearing began. We'll have reaction from here at home. Plus, the vice president visits the border in Texas. Our Robert Arnold is there and will join us live from El Paso with an update on her visit and its purpose. And going for 12, the Astros winning streak continues tonight. They're trying for win number, I think, 13 maybe against the Tigers. Going for 12. Okay. 
They're on 11th Street right now. We're going to take a look at what we can expect from tonight's game, you guys. So a lot coming up today at 4 o'clock. Okay, sounds good. Hot indeed it as is. well. Definitely got to stay cool out there. Thank you, guys. All right, now here's a question for you and for everybody else out there. Would you volunteer to drive a big rig truck over a slightly melted frozen lake in negative temperatures for $200,000? I think you need to up the price for me. Oh, well, yeah, I think I probably would do it, actually. Oh, no, I need a million dollars for that. 200000 You could buy a lot with Well, I can't swim, so if things go wrong, it's over for me. Okay, well, I'm still doing it. Also, guess who else is doing it? Liam Neeson. Lauren Kelly joins us now with a scoop on his latest Netflix thriller. Lauren, what is this all about? The trailer looks so intense. It is intense, you guys. When it comes to actor Liam Neeson, we already know he has a certain set of skills that seem to help get him out of many crazy situations. And for his new role as an ice road truck driver, those skills sure do come in handy. In Netflix's The Ice Road, Neeson's down-on-his-luck ice road trucker character Mike joins a mission across treacherous terrain to deliver rest equipment in hopes to save a team of diamond miners trapped underground. Okay, the basic story is uh, there are miners trapped way, way, way up in northern Canada. They're trapped in a mine, a, uh, a diamond mine, and these, these special, very heavy equipment is required in order to be bored down into the ground to save them. Airplanes can't land uh, because of the ice and snow conditions. The only way to get this equipment to the mine is over a frozen lake uh, in, on, in these huge big Kenworth trucks. The ice is normally during the winter time when they are legitimate highways. They're 30 to 40 inches thick, the ice, that can hold the weight of these trucks. In our story, spring is starting to come in and the ice is starting to thaw and that 30, 40 inches is getting thinner and thinner and we still um, try and make the journey, and in doing so, calamities happen. You guys voluntarily take this job, but I will tell you, if there's ever kind of rescue mission that I would want someone to helm this team, it would be you, Liam. As your character, Mike, did you have to get a truck driver, a big rig driver's license for this film? Do any kind of training in those? Uh, I, I did a little bit of training. I was with an expert driver, and I have to say, these Kenworth trucks and the, the people who build them and the, the corporate office, they, they could not have been more helpful. And the, these trucks are a major character in the film. The inside of them, they're like small New York apartments. <laughs> and, and the gears are so delicate, you know, for something so heavy and so big. Uh, the handling of the gears and the brakes and stuff is incredibly delicate. So I went out a couple of, uh, yes, I guess you'd call them training runs with a professional to see how it's done, you know? Uh, First thing you do, though, when you get in the truck, did you get in there and pull that horn like everybody always wants to? No, I got in and I just sat like this. <laughs> I was totally intimidated by it, you know. Well, The Ice Road is a fantastic movie. It will have you literally on the edge of your seat or wherever you are, whether it be your own vehicle or the ice. It is awesome. Thank you again for sharing your latest project with us, and I can't wait for our viewers to watch it. Liam Neeson, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Lauren. I appreciate it. Thank you. The Ice Road also stars Amber Midthunter and Lawrence Fishburne. It's now streaming on Netflix. And something you might not know about Amber, the really only female in the cast, is that her real brother was a truck driver. Oh. And he gave her all of these tips before filming the role. So she kind of just jumped right into it. Like, yeah, I got this. I know what I'm doing already. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Okay, that's impressive. It's, speaking of people who don't really age, I swear Liam Neeson yes. is one of these legendary actors. What was the show, Tangie, you were telling? us about the honest, the honest thief, thief. The yeah honest thief. i was gonna say that was film good too. she recommends okay i need to just figure out what these celebrities are doing to keep so young all the time well, every celebrity that i see we could just probably so tell you a, a lengthy <laughs> list of things that go into to get checked up on every month or so joe if you really want to know <laughs> hey look i'm all for it if it's going to keep me nice I'll and young i'll help you out there <laughs> no but the movie this is going to be incredible i love action movies like this here it has a lot of thriller going on too so this is going to be a great movie it reminds me of the story with the divers who had to go down and get all of those kids that were in the cave 
Do you guys remember that oh, story? Oh, wow, yes. Okay, I'll, yes, so it's I see the like, same similarity. Kind of the same kind of like mission that they're on. So this yeah. is going to be a cool, cool movie. Yeah, I had to watch it in parts because it gave me so much anxiety. There we go. <laughs> I didn't tell Eat Liam with that, your popcorn though. and your wine. <laughs> Thank you, Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, so coming up from $1,000 to a gallery of shopping spree, it's almost time for the Houston Life Prize, Will, and you could be today's big winner. Another reason we love Fridays. Yeah. And Tangie Patton has been hanging out with us today in Studio B. And Tangie, what is next on your list? I'm cooking up a delicious watermelon ceviche. Daryl, you're going to love it. And Joe, you may want to sneak in, Lauren, take for a little taste. I'll show you how it's done. Come on up. We are back with Angie Patton of Good Taste TV. Today she has been showing us how to make ceviches, now a watermelon version. And yeah. before we get into this, we got to talk about the show. We were talking during commercial break. You were in production on a brand new season of Good Taste with we Angie. Are. We've been in production since April. So we've been traveling literally all over the state. We were in Dallas last week. We've been in the Panhandle. I was telling Joe we were in his old stomping grounds in uh, Cajun country. So yeah, we're everywhere. Houston, you name it, Austin. It's such a great everywhere. job. You essentially meet really interesting people with interesting stories and eat a bunch of delicious food. And Derek, th that's the funny thing. Everyone thinks it's all about the food. And and yes, the food's great, but it truly, truly is about the people. Yeah. And this year in particular, uh, for me personally, it's been very heartwarming. Uh, these folks have been through unbelievable struggles. And, and honestly, they're still struggling right now, you know, yeah. getting people to come back to work. Um, but yeah, and it's you. we want you to leave hungry at the end of the show, but we also want you to leave smiling. You know what I'm saying? and feeling better than you did when you started watching. We hope we're inspiring people and uh, get out there, go out and eat. I think Have you're doing meals. just that, Tangie. So set your DVR as it airs on weekends, early in the morning, Good Taste TV. Early in Houston, we're on like Saturday evenings, lots of shows, but here in Houston, and we're so proud and pleased to be here, uh, set your DVR. We're all busy here anyway, right? Well, you're especially busy. <laughs> we love when you make time for us at Houston Life. The watermelon ceviche, I have never had something like this. Yeah. So talk about how it's created. This is a beautiful dish and the flavors are just perfect for this time of year. Of course it's watermelon season in Texas and this is done with halibut. So I, I want to show you how easy this is. This will be your go-to summer dish. There's just a few key things to keep in mind. Okay. You want to marinate your fish Ideally, if you're one, if you're someone who does not want raw fish at all, marinate it for about two hours. Two is plenty. If you want to go three, go three. But the longer you marinate it, you run the risk of it becoming too flaky and falling apart. And okay. Have you ever had crumbly ceviche out somewhere maybe and it's like, mm, they marinated it too, too long. long. And, yes. and when we're marinating it, we're using what, a lime juice lime or a lemon juice. juice? And that's actually curing it or sort of cooking it, right? Exactly. And if you taste, lime juice varies. If you taste your lime juice and you think, man, this is just so acidic, I would never even, you know, use it in a margarita or something without adding sugar, add a little orange juice to it. You can tame it a little bit and still keep all the citrus components so that you're still marinating the fish. Okay, that's so, a good little pro tip. I think we have an ingredient list we can throw up on the screen so people yeah. can take a look at what they need to get if they want to make the dish. Does it orange. have to be any white fish? It doesn't have to be halibut? Any white fish. Halibut is an easy one to use because it's, it's easy to work with. Um, you want to chop it into cubes. You don't want them to be too big because you want the fish to marinate all the way through and of okay. course it picks up the great citrus flavor. So you start with the fish, pull it out of the fridge once it's marinated, dump the juice that you were marinating in. And so just start essentially with your fresh fish. We're right? discarding that juice. We're discarding that juice. Okay. And then we're going to add the chunks of watermelon. Mm. And I like to keep all of the components roughly the same size. Uh, it's just easier to eat that way yeah. and, and to present that way. So toss your watermelon in. Okay. Some cucumbers. Persian cucumbers. I love Persian oh, cucumbers. Me too. A little bit of cucumbers. And then you're going to do serrano. We're going to kick it up a notch. Okay. And you'll find you can cut back on the serrano. You don't have to put the entire amount if you don't like a spicy version. And red onion. You know, red onions are not as uh, astringent, for lack of a better word, as regular onions. They're just a little milder and they really do add a nice little layer of flavor. Okay. And then They're orange pretty too. juice. Fresh squeeze. Don't, well, if you have to, buy the store-bought juices, but honestly, fresh is best. There's no comparison, right? So squeeze your own juice. That makes it best every time. And I'll, I'll show you some of the cool things to make this easier that I found at Cool Linscombe. Okay. But anyway, so use whatever reamer you've got at the house. 
toss it all in. You're going to mix it all together and then garnish. And I've garnished with radishes over here, uh, a little bit of microgreens. You could use a little bit of cilantro, whatever you like, just to make it pretty. Also, it's just such a fun dish to look at. It's beautiful. Yeah, it truly is. It, and no matter how hot and humid you are, you see this, you, you smile, right? Yeah, it looks Screen great. And these little microgreens, where did you say you can buy these? Oh, HEB, Central Market, grocery stores have them. Nice, right? It's an unexpectedly delicious combo of flavors. I love it. I love it. And I wanted mm -hmm. to bring out so much of, we eat with our eyes. Mm. So you've got the beautiful bowl of food, and then you can do these beautiful, fun things with your table, right? Um, I found these things at Cool Linscombe. I absolutely loved them. I thought they were the cutest things. I don't know if you noticed the napkins, but look at the little buttons and the little tassels oh, hanging yeah. off of them. Um, at least go the beautiful uh, ceramic pieces that you can use and entertain with all year round. And this is an electric juicer. Now, when COVID hit, we all started becoming uh, goal-minded with being healthier, right? Mm -hmm. And I bought a hand juicer, and I will never go back. I love <laughs> squeezing my own juice. This makes it easier for you. This is the Smeg brand. They come in a variety of fun colors. It's a really cool brand, yeah. They're great, but... When you get in the habit of having fresh squeezed orange juice, then I'm not saying I hit it every single morning of the week, but I do look forward to it. And it's just a great kick of vitamin C and you feel like you've done something good for yourself and good for your health. Very nice. Very, very nice. And they do a cool and scum have some great outdoor oh, they're just dishes beautiful for summer. Thing. The little bowl, you're, this is acrylic as well. I oh. mean, no, you can't go wrong. I thought it was glass. No. Okay. The, the same line comes in a beautiful, delicate, gorgeous glass, but no, these are plastic. Let's talk about the wine. Oh, okay. uh, to some of our viewers, this first wine will look very familiar. We just featured this <laughs> for our uh, Wine Club Wednesdays. Yeah, we think alike. This is a great wine. That's probably why you're seeing it, you know, again. It really is. This is a Toronto wine, so this is from Argentini Argentina. Argentinian wines are pretty fascinating because you have the mountains, right, the extreme in mm -hmm. temperatures. Uh, and they make some beautiful wines. This El Origin, uh, the Reserve. A Torontos is just a great grape. On the nose, you're getting all these florals, and then the flavors are tropical. It's a little fruitier than some wines, but it is by no means a sweet wine. Yeah, it's not sweet at all. No, and I think it goes beautiful with ceviche. And for $9. For $9, this is a great, and, and you know the term porch pounder? Yeah. <laughs> This yes. is a great porch wine. It truly is. It's just a great little summer wine. Now, this is another one I'm absolutely loving. Sauvignon Blancs, or I should say Sancerre's, mm -hmm. are big trending right now. Wines trend just like anything else. So a varietal you'll see trending right now on lots of restaurant menus is Sancerre. And if you look at, you know, over to the price of that Sancerre, you're going to pay quite a bit more for a Sancerre than maybe a Chardonnay. Yes. It, it's gotten a little crazy. This Sancerre Sauvignon Blanc, it just happens to come from a region in the Loire Valley that has a designation of Sancerre, right? This is Sauvignon Blanc from the Loire uh, Valley. It's a terrain, so it's another little region in the Loire Valley. And it's about half the price wow. of what you would pay for a good Sancerre. So okay. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, and we have about 30 seconds too. left, but you have a couple more wines okay. here. I want to be sure. Well, to get and to. some of these you're probably familiar with. It is rose season. Uh, I love the Fleur de Prairie. This is on a lot of uh, restaurant menus as well. Mm -hmm. But the Fleur de Prairie, classic Provence style rose, just, just beautiful. And of course, Josh does. We had the rose prosecco earlier. This is the regular prosecco. And it's, it's delicious good one. too. And of course, all the wines I find, you know where? At HEB. We you love that. You got it right. Lauren and Joe, uh, I think you guys have some, some snacks. Tangi, you know, we love you so much. It's not just because you bring us lunch. <laughs> It's, it's, it's much it more than, It's much more. Do you guys want to come over and try some yeah. of the ceviche? Come on, my invitation. I was going to say, I'm still working on mine right now. Tangie, oh. I have a quick question. If you were yes. to save some of the ceviche, how long will it last in your refrigerator? I, technically, you might get away with it the next day, but honestly, because there's so many fresh ingredients in it, right. I wouldn't. I, you know, another key component is you really want to buy the absolute freshest fish possible, mm -hmm. and you want to buy it the day you're going to make the mm -hmm. ceviche, right? Get to know that fishmonger uh, at HEB. He'll turn you on to the freshest fish. White fish is generally, to me, the best to make ceviche with. Um, but the key is mm. very, very important to use the freshest fish. Mm. And I would buy it the day I'm going to serve it. They got the small bowls. I think I'm going to take this one. Uh-oh. <laughs> this I'm is going to be mine. Joe's hands. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, Tangie, thank you so much. It's great oh, to see you. you. Great it's to absolutely see you too. delicious. And Good. just in case you missed any of these steps, we do have the recipe to Tangie's watermelon ceviche on our website. HoustonLife.tv. Oh, yeah. Stay right there. We're going to be coming back with so much more and that chance to win on our Houston Life prize wheel. It could be you. Don't go anywhere. Houston Life is coming right back after a quick break. I'm going to finish this up, Tangie. Go for it. Mm. <laughs> Time now for the Houston Life Prize Wheel, where we spin for you to win. It is your chance to win some pretty great prizes, including a thousand dollars and wow. even Astros tickets. Plus, our newest prize ahead and getting added to the wheel is a two-night stay at the Western Gallery, of the, and this is in Uptown Houston. Plus, a one hundred thousand uh, well, one hundred dollar gift card. I'm giving more money away to shop at the Gallery Mall. You know what? And breaking news. It's about to get even better. Oh. There is Gwendolyn Varnado. And <laughs> Gwendolyn, guess what? We have an additional $1,000 prize square we are going to yeah. put on the wheel. Joe Sam, do you want to do the honors? I well, sure Gwendolyn, do. tell us where you are ringing in from. Galleria area, right? Galleria area. That's right. Oh, and I think uh, I think we just lost you, Gwendolyn. So we're going to try to find you and hopefully spin. In the meantime, that is right. We have added an additional $1,000. And Gwendolyn, while we reestablish your connection, I think, Joe, we're going to go for it. Are you going to do the honors or am I going to do it? I think you should. I think you should do All it. All right. Let me get these magic hands ready. We're going to spin for Gwendolyn right now. Here we go. Okay. Big money. Big money. And it's Gwendolyn... Uh, watches Dominique's YouTube videos for beauty tips, and it looks like she has won this stay at the Uptown Houston, the Westin Galleria, and that $100 gift card to go shopping. So congratulations, Gwendolyn. Sorry about the, uh, the technical issues, but a member of our team will get in touch to be sure you get your prize. And if you would like your chance to spin and win live right here on Houston Life, all you have to do is join our KPRC2 Insider Program. That's right. It's free to join, and there will be great perks like discounts, giveaways, and so much more. All you have to do is head over to clicktohouston.com slash insider for your chance to win big on the Houston Life Prize Wheel. Congratulations yeah. once again to Gwendolyn. Thanks so much for watching <laughs> Houston Life. After the break, a look at what's coming up on Monday's show, including what you need to know if you are planning on selling your home. That's right. And as we head to break, let's check in with Kevin Frazier for a look at what's coming up on Entertainment Tonight. And I hear he's checking chatting with another star from the Fast and Furious movies. Hey, Kevin. Joe and Derek, tonight on E.T., we're with Vin Diesel as he looks back at the Fast and Furious franchise turning 20, plus the cast of Willy Wonka reunite to celebrate the 50th anniversary. You don't want to miss it. That's tonight at 6.30 right here on KPRC2. But sit tight. Houston Life we will be right back. Coming up Monday on Houston Live, two stars from Sweet Tooth on Netflix. Lauren Kelly is chatting with the actors all about their enchanting new streaming series. Plus, a local realtor shares expert tips for navigating today's hot seller's market. Find out how you can make more money on your home. In the meantime, Tangie Patton, you knocked it out of yeah. the park oh, with hey. the Sweet Tooth. Yeah. It's so Look good. Look like Tangie. All of these are empty because we just <laughs> annihilated them. <laughs> Outside. <laughs> That's what they're meant for. And in case you missed uh, the recipe and the steps, you can visit our website, HoustonLife.tv. Uh, big plans for the weekend, Tangie? Big plans for the weekend. I'm going to find water somewhere yes. and hang out by it. You know, it's just so not to dwell on it. Hey, COVID's gone, going away anyway. I'm the glasses. Almost full, right? We're all going to be stepping out with the jackets, too, this weekend. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you it. know what? I was thinking, maybe the four of us, maybe we could start a band or something. There we oh go. Or like gosh. a singing trio, because these jackets just scream You know my answer, something. Derek? Do something. Yes, Queen! All right, we, we, yes, right, queen. we have to do a, a pose to end with. What's going to be our rock band pose? Let's um, do this. I don't know. <laughs> What do you think, Christine and Lauren? You know, I love when Lauren just goes like this. Because every girl's just like, yep, I'm here. Happy weekend. You guys right. are having too much fun. I love it. I'm jealous of them. What do you mean? I, I don't know what though, you're talking about. prepare in case you want to 
cover of an album. You may want to come up with something all unique. We'll yeah. work on that. Yeah. We have the weekend, maybe on Monday. So, Tangi, you got to come back Monday there we for go. the big show. Do we get the jacket? Yes. yes. Right. Oh, yeah, you need your jackets. It's a must. For sure. All right, you guys have a great weekend. Thanks, and we'll you. Cheers. On Monday. Looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with in 48 hours. All right.